Among the many spiritual tools that Econ Car puts at our disposal, dreams are my favorite because they always show me the way when I feel confused, afraid, or lost, especially lost. When I was in middle school, I lost my mom. Being the youngest of the family, and with dad always gone for work, it was decided that it would be best if I lived with my uncle, mom's brother. So I did. But you see, my uncle lived in a different country, outside of the country. So there I was, away from siblings and friends. There I was lost and confused. Lost for being away from everything I've always known and confused by all these unanswered questions about the sudden death of my mom. Now, fast forward, me living with my uncle. I was not only lost and confused, but I was also angry, mostly angry as I struggled to understand why. Why couldn't, let me explain one other portion of the story to you before I tell you why I was so angry. Before mom passed away, she was hospitalized. And I was told that I will be taken to the hospital to go see her the following Sunday. I was excited. Then Sunday came, but no one took me. When they woke me up that Sunday, instead of, get ready, it was, we just got a call. Mom passed away. Now, this explains why I was so angry trying to understand why couldn't mom wait one more day so I had a chance to see her at least one last time. Why did she have to pass away in the first place? And why do I have to leave behind everything I've always loved and go live with my uncle? Why, why, why? Now, at this point, it's worth mentioning that I was not an Ekis then. As a matter of fact, I did not know about Ekon Kar until I lived with my uncle and his wife, both Ekis. <laughs> thank you. Now, <laughs> thank you again. <laughs> now, as I was lamenting my loss, I got introduced to the teachings of Ekon Kar. That is when I learned about the Mahanda, the inner guidance, the, the inner guide, and learned about the hue. So I will always sing the hue before bedtime and upon waking up, just like it was suggested in the book, The Spiritual Exercises of Ek. I felt better, so I kept singing. A few months later, I had a dream. In my dream, I heard the voice of the Mahansa say to me, Mom is here. You wanted to see her, right? It's okay. You can open your eyes. When I opened my eyes in the dream, there she was. She looked younger, stronger, better than ever. I stared at her speechlessly for a few minutes. Then I became overwhelmed with, with emotions and I quickly woke up. After that dream, I, I was happy, yet sad. But one thing was sure, I was no longer angry. Fellow spiritual seekers, we do experience miracles in many different ways. And in my case, my miracle was the Mahanta using a dream to help me see my departed mom one more time. And I felt a sense of closure. And that closure allowed me to accept my loss. Consequently, I learned to accept 
my new life with my uncle away from friends and siblings. As a result, I was able to gather the necessary strength to rise up to the opportunities and challenges that made me who I am today. Fellow spiritual seekers, dreams help me awaken to the miracles, to the secrets of miracles. Thank you.